your Amazon, weather can cause all sorts of troubles for all the deliveries. That's why they've got a dedicated team of meteorologists that are in place to make sure Amazon's more than 2,500 delivery sites worldwide run smoothly. Rain or shine, snow or wind, and you're talking about a massive undertaking. Their employees stay safe while working because of the meteorology team. With historic snowstorms sweeping across the U.S. right now, they've definitely got their work cut out for them, right? Now here to talk to you about it is Amazon's chief meteorologist, John Kastman. John, thanks so much for joining me this afternoon. I appreciate it. I know you've got a busy afternoon unfolding right now. Yeah, hi, Bob. Um, indeed, we're keeping a really close eye on the Northeast, um, tracking that rain snow line, just like where you are right now. Um, just uh, just helping prepare and, and uh, you know, safety is number one here at Amazon. And you had to, part of that is, is keeping an eye on those ever changing conditions. Yeah, John, we've been watching this storm try to develop with the European model, the GFS model. Where's that rain snow line going to go? What is the most challenging thing for a guy like you that works for Amazon where you rely on the roads and the airports? What's the hardest thing to do when there's a, a nor'easter at foot? Anytime, any, any of these kind of big storms, we're always we're trying to get the message out as early as possible is one of the keys to, that we want to, want, want to see and deliver for our, for our employees and our partners is to make sure that messaging is out so that our leaders um, can make the decisions on how they need to um, alter operations as quickly as they can. So whether it's a nor'easter like what we're facing here or, you know, even I just saw some of your graphics on snow squalls, getting that word out ahead of time is really critical uh, to our success to help mitigate any of those risks that we're seeing out on the road or even at our sites. Yeah, Josh, we're talking about the beginning, obviously, of the busiest shopping season of the entire year. How has it been so far with the rush for Amazon? Has the weather cooperated with you guys? It's you know it's been uh, after after we had a uh, such a nice hurricane season where we had no major landfalls. Winters really come in like a bull. Um, you know even yesterday we had to alter some of our operations. We had that lingering snowfall in Kansas City um, all day yesterday, and you know as we were analyzing that and getting the uh, and taking a look at the road reports. Um, we wanted to make sure our partners were safe, so we ended up having to alter operations in the Kansas City metro area uh, real time um, in, a, in a reactive fashion to ensure their safety. You know, one of the really cool things about my job is I'm work right behind me. What you see is the Global Security Operations Center, or what we call the GSOC, and these are experts that help mitigate these risks in real time. So. While our partners, um, while while we were calling our partners yesterday, they were helping managing that situation and make sure it was done in a safe and efficient way. So, um, so even when things like yesterday pop up, uh, where we have uh, some really changing weather conditions, we're able to to handle that in a quick and efficient uh, manner, thanks to uh, the numerous uh, safety teams here at Amazon. Yeah, Josh, you're a chief meteorologist, and then what kind of tools do you have? Do you have a a wide array of uh, of tower cams, of of row cameras, plus all the models? What do you look at all day? Yeah, well, just like you do, uh, we, we're taking a look at all the operational models that we can. Um, we're trying to convert those probabilistic forecasts into information that we can be, you know, really actionable um, to uh, to our, our partners and to our site uh, to our site leads. We want to take that sometimes complicated weather information and synthesize it into a way which. Um, is easily understandable and we can take action on. So the last thing we want to do is is be confusing. So mm -hmm. we're trying as hard as we can to, to simplify things and, um, and do that in a proactive way so that the work gets out as quick as possible so uh, our leaders can take action as, as quick as possible. I, it's fascinating. I just I want to hear about your day, too. Do you get in there in the morning and you look at everything? Do you have to brief everybody in Amazon on what the weather's going to be like every day? You caught me on a brief day, actually. So, yeah, this morning my day started around 5 a.m., uh, uh, put together a briefing, highlighted some of those things that um, you were already showing, the snow squalls coming, of course, the big nor'easter today, um, taking a little bit of a retrospective on what happened in Kansas City, and then, of course, looking seven days out. You know, these are our next potential risks here in the Pacific Northwest. Might have a couple clippers come through. So we're putting all that forecast package out there uh, on a daily basis and uh, getting that communicated out and um, uh, to, to, to our leaders as quickly as possible so they can adjust the operations as needed where we're seeing those big weather threats and just so we keep uh, everything as safe as possible. Yeah, how granular does it get? Uh, do you get down to the level of our delivery drivers need to wear this because we've got Arctic air blasting into the region by Wednesday and Thursday? Are you getting that deep? Absolutely. So um, we want to make sure that all of our partners out there are supplied with ice cleats and snow uh, and snow gear. So hats, outerwear, gloves, all of that are provided to our partners so that 
you know, when they're out there delivering these packages, they're as safe as possible. Um, and especially during this cold weather season, they're, they're provided all that. And we're also ensuring, you know, no van leaves the yard without making sure the heater's working. We don't want any kind of risk of, of folks getting stranded out there with, without any kind of heat. So uh, we're, uh, during this, this, type of, this time of year, we're always making sure that everybody is safe and prepared for any kind of wintry condition they may face. That is absolutely amazing. So you've got a staff of meteorologists with you, right? How many people do you have? We have several twenty four seven uh, several sorry several twenty four seven teams here. Um, my team is just one. We have uh, we have uh, several meteorologists. We have four meteorologists on staff, but we're just one piece of the puzzle. Um, Amazon's always had a really proactive stance for weather, and so um, we, like I said, we're just one of several teams that are monitoring and uh, in constant communication with our partners and our sites about the weather um, on a twenty four seven cycle. That's great. So, Josh, I rely on you guys a, a lot. Do you watch Fox Weather in the uh, in the Phoenix? Of course, of course. <laughs> We've got it on the monitors. Uh, what's one of our dedicated televisions? Of course, we we, we love everything you guys are doing, and uh, big fans of yours. I uh, appreciate it. this. I'm big fans of yours too, Josh. Thanks for taking the time and talking to us. I know you got your hands full. You got this storm coming in, Arctic air, and like you said, more storms for the Pacific Northwest too. Josh, you do a great job, man. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Bob, have a great day. You too, buddy.